Hi there Kit fans, it's Louise with you today and I'm so pleased to be sharing the unboxing for the November 2020 kits and I'm going to just give you a little bit of a look through at some of the items that come in this month's kit so I hope you enjoy these because I certainly love unpacking that box of goodies every month and getting to have a little bit of a play. So let's go ahead and we're going to um, start by opening everything up and unpacking it all. The first thing I like to do is have a look at the mixed media kit so we've got some stickle stickles silver um, or clear glitter which is really fun to work with and then we've got the Vicky Booten stencils and I am going to keep these beautiful watercolor backgrounds that the stencils come in so I've unpacked it all and I'm going to keep those papers and use those throughout the month so Next, I like to grab out my little um, embellishment container that I use and I'm going to sort through the embellishments. So we've got some little bling from Kazercraft and we've also got um, some ephemera pieces. So Days of Splendor from Pink Fresh and Let's Stay Home from Pink Fresh, which I think works really well um, with this month's kit. Some really lovely little sticker sheets. Again, I'm going to unpack all this. I like to take everything out of the wrapping and just have it sitting there ready to use. I find if it's not um, unwrapped and ready to go, then I'm less likely to use it. So it all gets unwrapped at the start of the month and pops into my little um, kit box and then I can access it really easily um, throughout the month. So we've got some alphas as well. So some little sticker alphas. And then we've got this um, really wonderful Heidi Swap. And it's from the old school um, collection, which is also some of the papers are from Heidi Swap old school in this kit as well. So um, embellishments aside, and I'm going to have a look through the A and the B sides of the paper. So it's at this time of the, the month where I'm sort of starting to think about what's in the kit and how I'm going to use it, whether I'm going to use the A or the B side paper, which sides I like. Do I want to fussy cut anything? Um, what's sort of me and what's probably not going to end up on the page or, or minimalist on the page? But um, that's a quick flick through of uh, what's in the November kit. I really think you're going to enjoy this one. It's so much fun and the DT is currently hard at work preparing layouts for you. So enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and make sure if you haven't already, you hit that little subscribe button and check out Kitaholic Kits.